switch the sides here. JoJo did 15. a good job. JoJo did a good job of getting the chin down again. It's There's the tap. Tyler Santos. Tyler Santos has quickly skyrocketed to the number two spot in the women's flyweight division, and we can't wait to see what she does next. Today, we're taking a look at the life and career of UFC rising star Tyler Santos. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. Santos' father was a Muay Thai coach, so she started training at a very young age. At the age of 16, Tyla was already training and competing in Muay Thai and bringing home amateur victories. Santos started training in jiu-jitsu and entered the MMA scene with a bang, winning her matchups. Santos would make her pro debut in 2013 and went on to finish her next 10 bouts in the very first round. Finally, Santos would enter Dana White's Contender Series Brazil and win by unanimous decision against Stephanie Almeida. This would score Santos a UFC contract. Tyla had a rocky UFC debut when she lost by split decision to Mara Romero Barella at UFC Fight Night. Santos got her up against the fence here. I'm assuming trying to work for a takedown of some sort. There it is, there it is. Got the body lock, forced it down to the ground. Immediately into mount, almost. Sorry, spoke too soon that, but here she is taking the back. Just like she did against Kalinja Faria. Got the body lock, took her down and then took the back. Because prior to this, it was all Barella. But that was a nice right hand there that Santos landed. And now she's advancing. She feels the tide turning. But Santos would spring back when she faced fan favorite fighter Molly McCann at UFC on ESPN. And as I said, oh, that was a good knee, though. Oh, and again. This oh, is the body. My work. Prince in the kicking power, though. Oh, oh big knee. Careful. She's going to keep that head up. Santos is looking really dangerous here, picking good shots. Watch the knees. I gotta say, Santos looks sensational tonight. Another takedown, beautiful job. Right over to Mount again. Oh, she laces again. through the legs again. Here we go again. Yeah, Santos she seems is to be the stronger fighter. She's vicious. She's going for the kill. She's got real pop in her shots, landing good knees, some good elbows. Now she's in on a takedown as well. That's there beautiful. it is. I mean, she look gets at that, that body lock and angle changes to the side and dumps her over her own leg. It's a powerful takedown. Santos came out of the ring with a win by unanimous decision. From here, she would rack up more wins as she went on to score a unanimous decision victory against Jillian Robertson at UFC Fight Night. It seems like a one-dimensional approach, certainly when it's Tyler that is dominating these positions. I mean, that was a great takedown. She's great if she gets it, but if she doesn't get it, she's flat on her back again in the same position, which has cost her the first two oh, rounds. Oh my goodness. You Santos, see what I'm saying? Santos does such a good job of just staying patient and calm whenever she's in these submission attempts that it allows for her to end up in a better position than when she even started. But this At UFC 266, Santos would take on longtime fighter Roxanne Mataferi and come out with another decision victory. I mean, not quite as good as yours, but look at those. Oh, looks like she, maybe a head clash as Santos moves inside. She explodes in the Rockies, takes the double underhook, turns her back towards the right leg and trips her. Clinch here. Going to work with these knees. She's gonna got turned. She's got to get her back away. Nice oh. work there from Santos. That's what she's got to do, guys. She's got to pull her away. Oh. Ooh, a little late, but no damage done. And keep pressing the pace until she until she gets back into this fight. Oh, oh thank you, Dean. Big right hand. Montefiore retreats, and that one cut her open. Did it split her open? I didn't see it. She reverses it out of the fight, and she gets taken down. That's nice work from Santos. Like Roxanne. And the game oh. continues to evolve. And there, and now she gets the oh. down for Santos. Oh, oh my goodness. Santos would earn her first performance of the night award when she faced Joanne Wood at UFC Fight Night. Follow up, though. Forward, please. There you go. Oh, big right from Santos. Up, up, up. This is so powerful. Look at that. Oh, big right. Oh, Wood is down. Santos trying to hammer away. Now it's getting tight. It's not under the chin. Santos is keep, now she's keeping switch sides here. Jojo did a good job. Jojo did a good job of getting her chin down again. And there's the tap. Tyler Santos. Two knockdowns, wow. polishes it off. 
Santos knocked down Wood twice before securing a rear naked choke by the end of the first round. Finally, Santos had the chance to take on the champion Valentina Shevchenko at UFC 275. Oh, oh. That Shevchenko a little slipper. She tried to take Santos down. And yeah. Alcala trying to work off for Shevchenko's back. And this is amazing. Got the back, got the neck crack so far. Can she get it under the chin? Without question. Under two minutes here to go round. Down it is again. Big takedown for Santos now working off the back. Santos was trying to isolate an arm for a moment. Now trying to work under the chin of Shevchenko. Now this is a better position than earlier. This is getting tight. Well, some wondered if Santos was getting this opportunity too soon. And able to get a big takedown late in round four. Talk about timing. And I think tonight we're learning something about Valentino. Oh, beautiful combination. And that goes the shot from Santos. No way. I mean, this is, this is crucial now. It was hard fought, but Santos ended up losing by split decision. This was the first time a fighter won on a judge's scorecard against Shevchenko in the flyweight division. Many think Tylo was the real winner of that fight, but we'll let you decide for yourself. Next up, Santos is set to face jiu-jitsu practitioner Aaron Blanchfield, where they both will headline UFC Fight Night. We can't wait to see which women's flyweight fighter ends up on top. Do you think Santos will beat Blanchfield? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.